Okay, morning all. Is it Boogie? Hello, Boogie. Boogie. Hello. Boogs. Hey. Boogie. No. He's he's there we go. He's he's tired. <laughs> he woke up, he drank his breakfast, and then it got all over his shirt. So his whole shirt is wet and gross. But morning everybody! It's the morning time! We're awake of the day! Look, there we go, there we go. See, the back legs work in the crawling thing, and the front legs don't work. <laughs> so, kind of, alright, I sound like I'm talking to him like he's a dog. But then, he uses the front to push himself up, and the back legs give out. So, I don't know, he's kind of got this thing ass backwards, but he's probably going to go back to sleep. He woke up, he drank his freaking breakfast, and looked at me, and was like, uh-uh. <laughs> it's just not time. But while he was sleeping... Mommy and Daddy used our new duvet cover thing. You gotta see what's... Look at the pillows. Ooh, and then we got, like, the navy blue pillows, and it kind of looks really cool with the headboard. And, like, with the painting of the wall and shit. I gotta give you guys, like, a full room tour when I start, like, when I straighten it out. Because, look, see all that crap I have on that little table there? Okay, that table was there just for me to, like, work on, and then Richie decided he wanted to do a puzzle on it. Then it became a new spot to add clutter. So... <laughs> And there's the rest of the room. Kind of giving you guys like a semi-room tour. I don't know. Um, that's my corner over there. And all my nice little things. My piggy collection. And then switch around. There's that nasty wall air conditioner. Which, I oh, mean, I want central air again so bad. And then we have our decal. And Boogie Bed! Boogie does not sleep in his bed. Oh, and our garbage pail, which had a drag in here. Because I keep tossing the wipes and stuff on the floor. Just because I can't, like, leave the bed when he's laying in it like this. Because he'll roll right out of it. But, that's about all. It's a good morning, huh, Bug? Bug, tell him, we wakes up during the day. I didn't even have to wake him up. Like, he literally just, he's watching Hotel Transylvania, too. So he's, like, glued to the TV. Look at the way he is with the TV. Look at this shit. He barely takes his eyes off the TV. Like, he just, he loves the TV. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, man, but at least I get to get some shit done. <laughs> like, I can go do laundry and stuff while he's sitting here. <laughs> For me, doing laundry, though, is folding it and putting it away because I have to go to a laundromat. So basically, when I say doing laundry, I don't really get to wash it because I don't have a wash on a dryer here. Um, I have hookups and everything for it. I just, I just can't afford one right now. I'm a bath bomb nut. Uh, I really, I can't afford it. <laughs> so, I mean, I'd have to give up the bath bombs if I went and got myself a washer and a dryer instead of just taking the laundry down a couple times a week down the block. Um, I prefer just taking it down the block, too. I like using the industrial uh, washers and dryers. For me, I think it gets your shit more clean. I don't know. But it does ruin your clothes a lot faster. So, for those of you that join me in this horrible having to go to a laundromat deal y'all know what i'm talking about your clothes just fall to shit after a while i threw in one of his like uh big like they kind of feel like like velvety velour blankets and it was like a big big giant baby blanket and the dryer freaking burnt it man i was so pissed and of course you know clean right doesn't burst shit they just give you you know there's a warning yeah thanks but my boogie my boogie he's the cutest fucking thing in the world him and my daughter, like, resemble each other to the T. Um, Richie is not my daughter's father. My daughter's father is a, uh, monster. <laughs> uh, to say the least. He is a complete and utter, utter, just asshole, and always will be, and he's a disgusting human being, but he has her right now, and pretty soon she will be back home where she belongs with us. Um, but my ex is not, not exactly a great person, but that's a whole nother friggin' vlog in itself. Um... Basically, him and Alexandra have, like, the same traits. They all do the same shit. Like, everything. And they they look exactly alike. Like, I have a photo in my living room right now, the two of them, of her holding him. And they really they have the same freaking face. I think it's so adorable. I love the fact that my children resemble each other so well. You know? And uh, they're ten years apart, too. <laughs> it took me ten years to get over the first one. Uh, I had a cesarean, and being pregnant is something I can't stand. And after that cesarean, man, I vowed never to have another kid. And then they told me I could not have any more kids because I had ovarian cancer and, like, breast cancer and everything. And because when it hit once, it hit twice. So they found two different types on me. And I had an ovary removed. They said the other one really wasn't too functional. And then we had my husband tested out, too, because originally we wanted kids. 
And we had him test it out when the money was there, and he had... Don't tell nobody I told you this, guys. He had, like, the lowest count possible. There was no way in hell that he was ever producing children. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, I uh, had finished out uh, another round of chemo, and I was all done for a little while, and they were telling me that after the uh, ovarian surgery and after I did a whole mess of, it of, like, radiation and chemo and shit, lost all my hair and went bald and really felt like shit for a while, they were telling me that uh, my boob cancer was pretty much coming down to nothing, and I got lucky, and then the final result was they believed they went into remission. So they told me I could stop the treatment, and I didn't have to keep doing it. So we were doing, like, my last little bit rounds up, last blood workups and everything, and all of a sudden, they found him. Okay. He wanted to sit up, so... You know that that, that chick, that uh, the black girl that has, like, no teeth and everything? She went on YouTube, and she did that whole, I woke up like this thing? Well, hey, look, I woke up like this. Look! Look, my shit's pink! Holy cow, would you have thought? It went from, like, magenta red, and in two days, it's friggin' pink. When my hair's done, it looks cute as shit. When my hair's not done, you know, I don't really give a damn. I just leave it the way it is. But, uh, you know, especially when I'm not gonna make a video or anything like that to where I really want to put on a heap load of friggin' makeup or do anything. I just woke up. I want to just hang out with the Boogmeister. Who Boogie loves to see himself in the camera. Look, look. Look, I can pick your nose. Oh. <laughs> But Boogie's getting a little agitated now, so he just he just wants to chill out and hang out and watch his TV and whine and cry and go back to sleep. Cause mom's trying to keep me up. But I think I look pretty damn cute for a fat chick who just wakes up in the morning, man. I am sexy. No, just kidding. I'm, I'm, I think I'm beautiful regardless. I, I have a good a good love for myself, and I'm the only one in the world that can actually say I am proud of being able to wave twice. Look at that. Look at that fat girl, man. Look at that. Look at that. Blah, 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 blah. Who? I mean, I can actually, like, hey! And, you know, I can wave at you two times. So if there's four of you, you're good, you know? <laughs> All of you get, get a couple waves, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but that don't bother me. I mean, yeah, I'm a big girl. I'm slightly self-conscious. But in all actuality, shit, man... I'm in my late 30s, you know? Well, I'm in my mid to late 30s. Let's put it that way. I'm in my mid to late 30s. Um, I've lived a really hell of a good life. I've always been a bigger person, but not like... This is the biggest I've been in my life. Like, I, I'm, I've am i gained weight. Especially, he's only like eight months old, and it's really tough to lose that weight. Not being down Florida again, where I had the pool, where I was able to move around a lot better in. Um, having, like, no spine left whatsoever. Getting shot in the back 18 times to try and get an epidural. And then they finally realize there's no way in hell they're actually going to numb my spine because it's crooked. So, <laughs> I got shot 18 times in the back to try and do an epidural to do my cesarean for him. And then finally they knocked my ass out. Put that machine over my face and <laughs> gone. So, that's how he was born. Oh, and then to top it off, his birth story. Shortly after that, I come home with him. Uh, he was jaundiced when he was born, so they kept him for a little while longer. So we basically tell him that he was born, he came out of the oven raw, so we had to stick him in the rotisserie and cook him some more, because he had to go underneath all those billy lamps and stuff. <laughs> and uh, after the rotisserie, we took him out, they trimmed his fat, and we took him home. So <laughs> that's pretty much what we're going to tell him when he gets older and what I tell him now. Um, I don't think he's ever going to really understand what the hell I'm talking about unless I explain it. <laughs> but how do you explain, like, circumcision and uh, billy lamps and things like that to a little kid? So I'll wait till he gets older and explain it. I'll just tell him that he was he had to sit in the rotisserie oven for a little while. But uh, as soon as I'm done with his cesarean, we finally get to take him home. Because I, I had to go home with no baby the first night. Like, you know, when, when I was allowed to go home, like, three, day, three or four days later. I go home with no baby. Worst feeling in the world to walk back in my house with no baby. But on hindsight, uh, hindsight, I was able to shower, relax, lay down, and just feel the pain of that incision of that cesarean, and just like get a good night's sleep because I hadn't had a night's sleep since I had him. I was so nervous about him, you know, because I never had a baby go jaundice. I didn't know what it was, and. uh then he came home the next day. They called us and they said, come on up here, we're going to circumcise him, and you can, you can take him home. So we drove on up. This is when we had the Mercedes. Uh, Richie had a beautiful Mercedes, and it was an older Mercedes, it was like a 2006. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful white car, and it went, <clears throat> you know, once it broke down, we junked it, couldn't, couldn't hang on to it no more. We actually, I think we sold it to his nephew for, like, dirt cheap, and his nephew fixed it all up, and now he has a beautiful car. 
I couldn't afford it. I couldn't afford to keep fixing a Mercedes because the foreign parts are so goddamn expensive. It was just to fix like something cheap was like a thousand dollars, like at all times. Every time you had to fix something, it was a grand. I don't have, I don't have a thousand dollars for a luxury vehicle. Give me a cheap ass little Ford or a little tiny Toyota, and I'm happy. But right now I have no car because in the car after that that I had was my car was my red one and it's like a crown. It was like a crown Mercury and I got T-boned. So, it's crushed up in front of my house right now. <laughs> still with the plates on it and everything, so... Plates, insurance, everything's still on it, but the car's crushed. <laughs> um, I, don't have a dr I don't have a driveway here. Um, over at our business address, that's where we have the driveway, but right now, um, my house guest from hell has a vehicle in that driveway, because uh, lovely New York, her license plate got stolen. Just, they took the plate off the car. I don't know, they just came over and took the plate, so when she called the police and made the report... They told her, get it off the street unless you want to fight and get stuck with a bunch of tickets. So I told her, go put it in the driveway up at the business address. Which, you guys have the business address here, so if anybody wants to ever write letters or anything, or send cards or anything like that, or, you know, send us a little, a little note saying, hey, it's us, you know, send me pictures of you and everything. I mean, if you actually take a look at my mirror, I have a couple of pictures from some of you guys, from mail and stuff like that. Like, I keep them all, you know, I definitely, you know... I love getting the mail and stuff like that, but um, just a small warning, uh, any mail that I get, I do open on camera, you know, I mean, I don't like bills and shit like that, but any mail pertaining to YouTube or to subscribers or to any of you guys, I open it on camera, unless you write on it, it's small somewhere, I'll look over the whole envelope, things like that, do not open on camera, so if you don't write something like that on it, I open it right on camera and everybody sees it. <laughs> Um, but if you tell me don't open on camera or, you know, I'm sending you a picture of my kid with me, don't show my child or something like that, I will, you know, take the picture away and just, I either won't open it on camera and just mention that I had gotten something from you or, you know, and thank you for it or, you know, I'll open it on camera and maybe just cover up your child's face or something like, like that. See, let's see if I cover his face. Pink! He's out. It's just me. Mm. Anywho, we just wanted to say good morning. Um, but finally, when I finally got a chance to take him home and everything, it was awesome. It was the next day, and he looked, he was so tiny. He was like five pounds. This big, like, 26-pound baby right here was a five-pound, 14-ounce little itsy-bitsy thing. Are you going to yank your binky so we can see your smile? Ha, oh, boogie boogie! But, uh, um, the only friends and, like, family that I have are you guys, so... Pretty much, it's use and bug all day long. That's all. <laughs> this is what I got, man. I got use guys. But we wanted to jump on, say good morning, and let you know that we are awake in the morning time. It is... Oh, we just yawned. Uh-oh. Oh, we're not having this morning shit. <laughs> but it is daylight, and we're up. So I am, I'm really excited. Um, I kind of like doing little family vlog things and just talking to you guys, because... My life gets boring, and I love yous, and I want to talk to yous, and don't bite mommy! Ew. Ew, slobber. Come on, I thought we talked about this, dude. Don't bite. You don't bite mommy. Come on, you little gremlin. Give me that. <laughs> okay, I got it back. Ew. All right, the one thing I think is so gross is, like, baby vomit and spit up. And, like, diarrhea. But look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> He's done. He's just like, I don't want to do this morning shit no more. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, here's where he gets cranky and starts throwing himself around. You want to watch Minions? Oh, okay, we'll get up some Minions. You want to, you want to sit up and watch Minions? No? No? Want to just say bye-byes? All right, guys, we love yous, and I'll hop back on again and do a little more vlogging once we, like, get up and, like, actually get... Look at this. From one angle to the next angle. That's it. Down. <laughs> He's gonna go back to sleep, so I'm screwed. Um, I'm probably gonna pass out with him again. That's why I haven't even bothered to, like, get up and do anything. Because Look at this. Look, 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 look. He's going down. Going down. We're going down. No, Mommy. <laughs> Alright. But I just wanted to jump on and say what's up to everybody and show you guys my cool new duvet cover. And the pillows that match, and we got, like, new sheets on and everything. Once the bed is made up really nice and everything's really cool, I'll give you, like, a proper room tour. And then I'll show you the rest of my place, because it's tiny. <laughs> so, I'll show you the rest of my apartment. Uh, for New York, it's big, but for me, it's teeny-weeny. So, anywho, love yous all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.